Welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Sergey Gavrilets. Uh, I'm uh, one of the or organizers of this webinar series. Uh, Pete Richardson, co-organizer, is also here. And uh, this series is sponsored by the Center for the Dynamics of Social Complexity and the National Institute uh, for Mathematical and Biological Synthesis uh, here in, in Knoxville. So we're uh, very happy uh, to have uh, uh, you, you guys here. We had a very successful webinar last uh, semester, and I'm sure this one will also be great. So uh, let me just uh, start by saying a few words uh, about the whole idea of this webinar. It's uh, to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the descent of man. Uh, in 1859, Darwin Poe published his uh, most famous book on the origin of species, and there he promised that light will be thrown on the origin of man and his history. In 12 years, he delivered, and it was uh, he, the book that we are celebrating now, The Descent of Man and Selection in Relation to Sex. Actually, uh, the anniversary itself will be in three weeks uh, from today. And the book is uh, really brilliant. And it's fair to say that it foreshadows many modern theories of human origins and evolution. And that's kind of what we'll be focusing uh, in this uh, webinar series. And there are many different insights in this book, but I want to emphasize just three of them. And the first one is that humans, like every other species, are a modified descendant of some pre-existing form. And for us, it's apes. And the second one is culture and cultural evolution were particularly important uh, uh, in um, human origins and human evolution. Uh, Darwin explicitly says in, in his book that uh, kind of classical nat natural selection most likely played a very subordinate role in the e evolution of, of uh, humans, uh, at least in, um, at, at later stages. And he also talked about inheritance of acquired variation there, culturally acquired variation. And the third in insight is about the importance of cooperation for the origin of our species. A cooperation and moral sense have evolved around tendencies for mutual aid, which Darwin said are common uh, to most uh, social animals. And it's kind of interesting that uh, his first insight was fully embraced by modern evolutionary synthesis in the 30s and 40s of the past century. Uh, his last insight was largely ignored there, and only in the 60s, uh, um, after the, the work uh, by Hamilton and Trivers, uh, cooperation moved to the forefront of scientific research, and now it's still exploding. And his second uh, insight about the importance of culture and inheritance of acquired variation was largely rejected uh, by modern evolutionary synthesis. It's kind of interesting uh, historical note. So there are many uh, uh, implications of, uh, of uh, his work as far as uh, fundamental uh, research is concerned. But we, there are many things that also concern us in our uh, everyday life. I'm, I'm sure some of you wonder perhaps every day why other people do things that we do, say things that we say, or believe in things that we believe. Uh, but uh, Darwin's book and the uh, research that it stimulated uh, offers some uh, in, uh, expl possible explanations of what, uh, why this happens. Uh, there are, of course, uh, biological roots underlying many features of our behavior. Uh, competition, uh, genetic relatedness, drive to sex or power, and things like that. Social learning. Social learning can bring enormous uh, benefits uh, by um, transferring beneficial traits and behaviors and innovations from some people uh, to other people. Uh, but social learning also brought uh, new forces uh, constraining uh, and driving our behavior, morality, social norms, and institutions. And these things can act in a positive way, but in course act uh, in a very negative way. Like I have a quote here, the tradition of all dead generations waits like a nightmare on the brain of the living. That's a quote from Marx. And then as a result of social learning and reliance on, on it, we uh, evolved very strong sense of conformity. We have ability to internalize uh, systems of beliefs, religious, political, and so on. But also it makes us very vulnerable to propaganda, uh, political and advertisement and teaching and uh, whatever. 
and cooperation. Again, cooperation can bring enormous benefits due to economy of scale, due to division of labor. Um, cooperation also results in the emergence of specific coalitionary psychology that can bring us together if our group uh, faces or we perceive that there is a challenge, but it can also cause a very negative or hostile reaction to others who differ from us in their looks, behavior, or, or, or beliefs. Um, so uh, we'll be talking about uh, many of these topics uh, in this uh, series, and we have uh, a great lineup of 12 speakers. Um, we will start today and it will end in, in April. Most of the seminars, uh, webinars will start at 11.45 uh, Eastern time, but uh, there will be some differences, uh, so pay, pay attention. I also wanna uh, draw your attention to a special collection of the new journal Evolutionary Human Sciences that will be coming out in a few weeks. And it's, it's something where Petrice and Franz uh, Deval and I uh, uh, were guest uh, edit. So there is a lot of uh, exciting uh, things uh, going on. Uh, and if you wanna know more uh, about uh, recent developments and get a bigger picture of uh, what's going on, I would recommend you a, a couple of books. A uh, uh, book by Joe here, Henrik, The Secret of Our Success, and Carl Van Schaik book, uh, The Primate Origins of Human Nature. They came out a couple of years ago, and this is a really great book. And then there is a new one that is coming out, I believe, uh, in a month uh, by uh, Leslie Newson and Pete uh, Richardson here, The Story of Us. And I also highly recommend this book to you.